All right, guys, welcome back to the first ever Hashtag Sevens Invitational Tournament where Hashtag First Team Men and Women, staff members, OGs and special guests come together. It's the Super League we can all get behind. Now, massive support on the last video. Really appreciate that. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you go back and do watch it because this video will basically be full of spoilers otherwise. Uh, make sure you subscribe to get the next video first as well. The next video will have the final of this tournament in it. Okay, quick look at the tables as they stand with just one game of the group stage left. As you can see, Team Holly and Team Gleedy are already through to the semi-finals, but there's plenty still to play for in each group to see who's going to join them. Coming up, we've got my team going up against Jacko's team, but first, the deciding game in Group A sees Team Seb against Team Immy. Let's get into it. Okay, we're underway here. Immy's team in the blue, Seb's team in the green bibs. Pass back from Phil Martin goes to Kian and Hughes Mason who can't get his shot off and now the Blues can look to counter. Although Phil's got it back. Josh Asude with a thundering strike there and a massive celebration. He ain't meant that. Oi, kids, that's a cross. I haven't played football in ages and I just feel rough. It's been a while. It's cold. Yeah. It's been a while. Have you scored any goals today yet? Yeah, no, nah, I got an assist. That's it, but that's all my legs will allow today. <laughs> if you see anything else, be surprised. I can definitely vouch for Manny on that one. A very cold day indeed. In fact, have you ever seen this many players wearing trousers on a football pitch? It's got to be a record. Anyway, throw in for Seb's team. The Gaffer Devs throws it to OG Phil Martin, who hits it hard and true. And that is a goal for the Greens. <laughs> quick thinking. Quick thinking. Devs praising his quick thinking there. It was a decent throw, but a better finish. Dev's on the ball again here. Picks out Josh Asude out wide. Got a bit of space to run into. Lovely ball into the box. Oh! To be fair, Phil Martin trying a very clever finish, but Emmy equal to it. Chris MD on the ball. Finds Joe Gregory of the men's first team here. Still got Chris out to the right. Finds Charlie Morley instead on the turn. On the left foot. Lovely finish from the Morley pig. The Blues not giving things up just yet. Nice little turn. He's got a five-star weak foot, Charlie Morley. It doesn't matter what foot it's on. There's a good chance it's going in. Hughes Mason on the ball again for Team Seb. Loads of space to run. He's allowed to advance up the pitch. Finds Thogden. Phil Martin with his second of the game. Thogden assist on that one. It was actually a save from Immy from a, what might have been a Thogden shot, to be fair, but Phil was there to pick up the pieces. Phil! Take two, take two. Ah, oh, you're in. Looking for Phil Martin again. That's another goal. That Devs-Phil Martin partnership. What might have been in non-league if Phil had kept playing? Who knows? I think that's his hat-trick already in this game. What a finish that one is. Ooh! Seb's team running away with it a little bit. Can Team Immy in the Blues get back into this as Chris MD keeps the ball in play. He's up against Stogden here. Finds some space. Puts the cross in. Joe Gregory with the finish. Last episode, we saw Chris MD setting up a few goals. He's continued where he left off. A little push there from Devs. For what? Wow! He's not happy. Yeah, here again if you need. Love it. Theo, that's superb. Sude gets it. He's got a rip in his bib. But it's another goal for Asude. Silencing the doubters. He can do it at seven aside as well as 11 aside. Seb's team just looking dangerous in attack. Little one-two with Fogden and Sude there. Ball over to the back post. Kiernan keeps it in. Is he going to shoot? Oh, ho, ho. Seb's team are running riot here. Lovely curling finish. Kiernan Hughes-Mason, who's a first-team player, but also our reserve team manager. Sude finds Thogden. Can Thogden get in the goals? Trying to return it to Sude. George Smith. Yes! Yes! Wow! Tough challenge on a Sude. Devs wants a free kick, but the Blues keep going. Charlie Morley with a goal. Another assist for Chris MD. Was this a foul from George Smith? I would say yes. I think that was obstruction. Ref, he's just absolutely body checked him. But the goal stands. Listen, my hashtag career came back from the, from the Phoenix and the Flames yeah, last yeah. week. I can only ruin that, can't I? So I need to stay off the pitch, really. That plus, we've got 12 person squad. Some people have driven a long way. I want to make sure everyone gets on. If I just remove Stay myself. That's what Phil! Phil! Go on, Phil! Ruthless! Ruthless! Oh! It's a big block. So we switched ends now for the second half. And uh, Seb's team looking to 
Carry on where they left off. Phil Martin, can he get a goal off? Good save, though, from Mimi. Back to Jack, mate. Is that a pass or a shot? I'm not sure. Chris MD takes the ball down. Turns. He's got Manny to his right. Does he need him? Gets the shot instead, just wide of the post. Morley into Chris MD. Keenan, though, dispossesses Christopher. And Keenan getting forward now. Plays it in the middle. At the back post comes to Georgia Highland. Puts it back into Keenan. Lovely little one-two. Simple, slotted, finished. Lots of goals in this game. And that was just placed. Composure. Kears love it, Georgia. That's absolutely superb That Well done, great composure. Back underway then. Can Immy's Blues get back into this? Chris MD goes past Tom, the tarantula Jepson plays it to George Smith. We saw some great link up between those two last episode. Morley, back to Chris. Oh, lovely little goal. Chris gets it and the Blues aren't giving up. Good touch, beats Thog Dad. Slotted it past the keeper. Jack mate on the ball here. We'll pass into the ball. What a ball! Oh! What a pass that was. That would have been a very happy hour if that had gone in. Meanwhile, Morley Pig. Oh my. That is what Morley can do. Anyone that's watched Charlie Morley on YouTube knows he can do this brilliant finish. And I'm telling you, the Blues might be back in this. The game seems to be just shifting momentum wide towards Immy's team. Oh my god. Have you just seen that goal? Yeah. I'm worried. Two goal difference now. We need to hold on. We need to hold on. We need to win this. We, we can't win a game. The thing is, Charlie Morley, that sort of goal is that. He's tailor made for that sort of thing. I know. It's a great finish. Great finish. Oh, wow. Jack, go down 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 can Immy's Blues mount what would be the comeback of the tournament so far? Good save from Dodds. Important save for Seb's team. The Blues are still coming. George Smith goes one way. Tackled, though, by Jack, mate, who's coming forward like a young Balbuena. Dispossessed, though, by Manny, who's now coming forward. This game is back and forth. Little step over past Thogdad. George Smith at the back post. Big save again from Dodds. George Smith takes the corner, finds Chris MD, cleared, but it's going to come back to Chris, who gets his second of the game. Are we going to see an Istanbul-type comeback here, guys? I think we might. Dogdad finds the tarantula. What a duo that is. Charlie Morley, though, oh, tries to play it to Chris, gives it straight to Phil Martin, and that's why they call him the dink. He just dinks it over the goalkeeper there. I think that's his fourth of the game. I've lost count. What a player. Phil Martin is. Back underway again. So many goals in this game. Morley to Chris MD. Back to Morley. Morley, saved by Dodds. Put in by George Smith and he gets the ball. And you can't take your eyes off this match. But it is all over. And Seb's team have nicked it. Very, very tight game in the end. That means that Immy's team will drop into the wooden spoon. Sebs go through to a semi-final. No, Jack, I just don't want to play me, so I'm going to just do camera work today. Oh, he's, what, you're not, he's not playing you at all? No, no, no. I played four minutes last game. That is yeah. really It's my team versus your team now. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I'll be yeah. Yeah. He's 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 him now. It's not really my yeah. team. It's, it's Jack versus you now. Huh? What's team. going on? I don't know. You lost the first game? Yeah, because no one wants to bust him. <laughs> you know you have to I be. I'm still living up that soccer game. I yeah, can't yeah. These two should be both on the pitch. Can't have against each other right now. What's going on? Sharky started last game, so I'm just rotating it, but he'll get on. I don't have any say in Chunk's team. If I was his gaffer, he'd be starting every game up front. I've seen what this man can do. <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm glad he's not starting. He's, he's, he's got too, his face is too serious. Jacko is scary. He's man of football. He is scary. Freezy, by the way, I want to say, most improved player in the yeah, YouTube yeah, scene, yeah, Cal yeah, Freezy. Guaranteed, guaranteed. First time I played with him, probably years ago, Dreadful. I thought, like, oh, well, yeah, I'm no, <laughs> His words, not mine. No, no, he's horrible. He, but was, recently, he was one of the worst players I've seen on YouTube. But wow. he's actually decent now. Now he's alright. Now he's alright. So. My team in the purples, Jacko in the yellow. Remember, he's got Ryan Adams, Dan Brown, Chunks, Cal Freezy, Mange Dog, Manji, Harry Honesty. Hell of a team, but I'm very happy with my team as well. Ryan Adams looking to start things here off target. Oh, get a little sire, get a little sire right. in. Jacko, yes. mid game, hey, yep. first of all, how you play? You right? feeling we, good? We are, we're struggling. Okay. To be fair, we, we're trying to get everyone minutes. We're having a fun day. Yep. We're, we're thoroughly enjoying ourselves. Right, okay. I'm not personally. Well, I hope that everyone else is. 
Okay, right, so quick thing. We need to make sure we get Sharky on the pitch at the same time as Chunks. So you need to get Chunks on. Oh my God, hang on, I'm having to run back. Oh my God, I'm mad. Oh, big save, Jacko. You gotta love that journalism from LP, getting on the pitch mid-game with Jacko. But it is my team getting forward here. Sam Rajgill picks out Dan Adji. And it is 1-0 to Team Spencer, the way things should be. Hopefully I'm not to blame. Jacko, did you, that weren't me. That weren't me. That weren't me. No way was that me. Dan Brown with a throw in. Finds his old strike partner, Ryan Adams. What a gruesome twosome they have been over the years. Ryan beats Charlotte and then Jody Osborne with the chance just off target. Hey, you're lucky, you're lucky. Okay, Ryan Costin on the ball for maybe. He's been dispossessed by Ryan. Ryan gets past Sam Raj Gill. Looking to get this equaliser for Team Jacko. Finds Harry Honesty at the back post. Just off target. Tell you what, though, we need to look at that again because I think there was two nutmegs from Ryan Adams there. One on Sam Raj Gill. Gets the ball back, completes it, and then wait for it. The pass goes through Ryan Cosson's legs. You don't see that very often. Dan Brown now getting forward for Team Jacko. Sam Raj Gill, though, with the big tackle. Dispossessing him. Gill just gliding through. Finds AJ. Big save from Jacko. Jody Osborne takes that throw in very well indeed. Playing centre back really for uh, for Jacko's team now. But she's continued her run. Dan Brown finds Harry Honesty. Jody's still up. She gets it. She flicks it in the bottom corner. And that's the sort of composed finish you're going to need to beat a goalkeeper of Andy Cade Watts quality. Well done, Jody. Hey, hey, like that. Like that. Like that. So it's all to play for here. One all as we get things underway for the second half. Chunks is on. And the man's dog is on as well. The yellow team clearly going for it now. Harry Honesty goes to Chunks in the corner. who has got quick feet for a big man. Saved though by Andy. Could have been a nice little goal at the near post. Very close game this one as well. A lot of close games today. Man's dog manager looking for one of his trademark crosses. Cut out though by James Alcott. To Toby Romilaren, who just heads it over. Steph Patchy. Can Toby get an important goal? He does with a lovely little finish past Jacko. Team Spencer back in control. And there is the, the trademark arrow celebration from Toby Arrow Malaren. Sean Eldridge looking for me. And I've got to admit, I've had a stinker of a touch. I'm trying to play it back to Toby, but I've overplayed it. Dan Brown's got it. And I'm, I'm holding my hands up for that one, guys. I'm holding my hands up. Poor from me. I'm going to sub myself off. Yay! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Dan, love that. Gil getting us forward. Samraj, you could be our only hope now. Come on. Beats Dan Brown. Samraj on the ball. Hits the shot. Good save from Jacko, to be fair. Every game my team's been part of has been so close. Last episode, this episode, not much between us or our opposition. Aji just stops Dan Brown from getting the ball. Plays it to Toby or Malaren. Still going. Toby! I'm not sure if that should have been a foul or not. I think Alfie's given a corner. Toby stayed down. Okay. It's going to be a corner, I think. Adji gets it short. Up against Ryan Adams. Back to Sam Raj. Oh, cheeky. Past Ryan and Dan. Back to Adji. Adji falls down. This calls for a handball. Sharky. Oh, Sharky with the goal. And I tell you, the yellows aren't happy. He's grabbed it with two hands like that. He's got his handball, man. He's gone down with two hands like that. I don't give a crap, he's led to an advantage. Well, you His hands are out. His hands are out. Got to spare a thought for the referee in this occasion. Where's the respect for our officials? Was it deliberate or was he just putting his hands out? Should it have stood? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. You can't take away from Sharky's finish though. Look at this, placed in the bottom corner. Nothing Jacko could do. Now Fees is sick of the descent. And, you know, if that was in our league, that would have been a sin bin for Jacko. Lucky there's no sin bins in this one. It's just a yellow card. The crowd enjoyed that, though. The crowd calling for him to be sent off. <laughs> Jacko, give us a wave! Jacko, Jacko, give us a wave! Dan Brown on the ball. The Mikey kit man looking for a one-two maybe. Aji picks it up though. Oh, he's fallen over, but that is the final whistle. And my team have just snuck their way to victory. We get out the groups into the semi-finals. Jacko drops down to the wooden spoon.
<laughs> like, wait, wait, hold on. Show me how you fell. What did you do when you fell? When I fell? Yeah. I fell like that. <laughs> Where did your hands go when you fell? Huh? Where did your hands go? Where you it? <laughs> yeah. No, your hands went. You no, know we're flying with a... <laughs> Man did this and slapped the ball forward. Okay, guys, you know what that means, don't you? That means that Jacko and his selfie squad, including the likes of Dan Brown and Ryan Adams, are going to be fighting for the wooden spoon against Immy's team, including the likes of Morley, Smudger, Manny, Chris and D. You can't write this stuff. Let's watch the wooden spoon up next. You do not want to lose this game. If you win it, you, you technically win a wooden spoon, but that's not a spoon you want. Okay, everyone knows metal spoons are just easier to use. Joe Gregory on the ball here for... Immy, can he get first goal for the Blues? Cal Freezy with the clearance off the line. Harry Honesty getting forward for Jacko's team. Chunksy. Oh, Chunks lets it go through his legs. Saved by Immy. Jacko finally letting Chunks start up front. He's believing in the Chunks' vision here. The man he's showing some vision of his own as he's counter-attacking up the pitch for Team Immy. He's got Chris MD to his right. Finds Charlie Morley. Puts it across the box. Chris MD at the back post. What a YouTube collaboration of a goal that would have been. But it goes wide. George Smith to Charlie Morley. Back to Chris MD. Chris MD can find space where you didn't think there was any space. Plays it to Chris MD. Once again, the Chris to George Smith combo is alive and well. And that is 1-0 now to the Blues. Team Immy. Chunks. A little bit of link up in there. Harry Honesty. Shoots it. Good save there from Immy. Denying the yellows an equaliser. Smudger with a switch over to Joe Gregory. A lot of attacking talent on this blue team. Maybe too much. Maybe not enough defensively. Chris MD turns back onto his left foot. Oh, Christopher. You shouldn't have. One of the players of the tournament, certainly from the friends of the club category. Chris MD. Chunks on the ball. Looking to uh, put his own hat in the ring for the... Players of the tournament. Oh, wow. Goal of the tournament, maybe. Chunksy on the left foot. And he's just reminding Jacko he should have been played more because that's what he's capable of. Look at this from Chunks. Oh, you can't save him. Unsavable. You love to see it. I'm right. I'm I'd, I'd, I'm rating it a nine. Good. It's great. It's great movement. Seven. You know, I didn't see it, but I've heard the reactions. <laughs> yeah. This game is is lively. It's the game no one wants to lose. Oh, James Stevens with a little nutmeg on chunks. I think there. This is all popping off left, right, and centre. It's all happening. Underway for the second half now. James Stevens. Looks for Chris MD, but it's cut out by Nate Joseph here for Team Jacko. He's got Chunks in the middle. Can he find him? Space is open up for a shot. Chunks is there, though. Ball's a little bit behind him, I think. And there, Jacko has shouted towards Chunks. The target man. He's found him. He's taking it down. What a goal that would have been. The first touch was exemplary. The finish, not quite as much. Route one football there from Team Jacko with a big man up top. And here is Jacko. Hello. He's doing his best monk impression for a meme machine. Finds Ryan Adams. Down the line towards Dan Brown. Jody Osborne gets another little cheeky finish off the post this time. Second goal of the tournament for Jody. Harry Honesty into Ryan Adams. Harry Honesty still going here. Plays this Nate Joseph on the overlap. Puts it back in towards Harry. I think Team Jacko are coming back in this now. And it's a well taken finish from Triple H, Harry Honesty. Steph Patchy. Nice turn. Finds Jody Osborne. Cut out by Manny, but given straight back to Jody. He finds Dan Brown. Dan Brown. Back to Jody Osborne. Lovely little one two. Oh, no, cut out, actually. Oh, no. The Blues can't clear their lines. And Dan Brown's going to nick a goal. And how many times have we seen him score with a hashtag shirt on? Leading goal scorer of all time for hashtag United. He's our Alan Shearer. It's Dan Brown, everybody. Manny on the ball. Trying one from distance, and that's off target. And it's all over. And it is a win for Team Jacko, meaning the unfortunate winners of the wooden spoon is Team Immy. They didn't win a game all day. So instead, they win the wooden spoon. Although there's actually seven of them, or actually about a squad of 10, 
they've got to divide that spoon 10 ways. So technically they get a tenth of a, a wooden spoon. So enjoy it. All right, talk to me about that goal, by the way. It's meaningless, 2-1. Two, two, <laughs> I'm happy. I always had that in my arsenal. Mate, that was a joke. You get that? I always had that in my... Oh, see that. Fair enough. That good good finish. finish. Very good finish. All about my sister. Man of the match. Disgusting. <laughs> Man no. Of the match, yeah. No. The <laughs> chunks, chunks gets it for the finish. Sure the finish was lit. That, the well finish done. was lit. Yeah. I mean, like, I was going around pe asking people, like, what are they rating it? Like, if it's a left foot finish, it's decent. Oh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was who, who, who was the guy that started the move? I thought he had a decent game as well. I thought it was Harry. Harry, Cal Harry Cal said it was. So, was it you or not? Was it Harry? Hey, goal line clearance, though. Hey, oh, we talked oh, about yeah, a goal line clearance, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacko's in all sorts out of trouble. <laughs> Guess who's there? I'll take what I can. We can go to win the final at the end there, like that. It's just amazing for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because our team was called the Wooden Spoon Warriors in the anticipation we'd be in this game. We've outdone ourselves. What can I say? You know, after a poor start, very good second game. Uh, I think we're playing Spence's team in the semis. So, uh, taking a little breather, getting ready for warm -up. Well, the first two games I feel we were unlucky. Yeah. Um, gracious in defeat, as, as gracious in winning, but, you know. And then this game, there was just, first half might as well have just been walking football, I think. And then the second half, I said as soon as Ryan and Dan came on, I was like, oh, we should have scored more goals because these two are going to run us ragged and my legs are just in bits, so I just didn't even bother. So there you go, that is who ended up bottom of the pile. But the question is, who bags the prize and the title of the first ever Hashtag Sevens Champions? Subscribe now to get the next episode first and find out who lists the trophy. It's going to be dropping very soon indeed. Don't forget to give all our amazing creators a follow. Big thanks to them for being involved. And thanks to you guys for the support. Academy Series coming soon. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.